All right, so I told myself I do not need another pair of Adidas Ultra Boost. I already got that OG 1.0 colorway, that OG Chalk Cream colorway, that Triple Black 1.0 that's available right now on Adidas website, link in the description. Custom Adidas Parlay Ultra Boost, custom Galaxy Hydro Dip Ultra Boost that I made, my Adidas Ultra Boost with the Xeno print, custom Cartoon Leather Ultra Boost, custom Clima Ultra Boost, and that Waterproof ATR Ultra Boost as well. Even got those ATR Ultra Boost mids, not to mention the Ultra Boost 19 with the custom print that I did here with the Hydro Dip. Can't forget about those Prime Blue Ultra Boost 20s with the crazy print on them. And then we also have the, wait, these are not Ultra Boost. These are my custom 4Ds that I did. We have the Ultra Boost PB as well. And you can't forget about the Summer Ready Ultra Boost, which was a really nice take for the Summer Edition sneaker. So I definitely don't need any more Ultra Boost. Got a new pair of Ultra Boost today. We got the Ultra Boost Winter Ready or Cold Ready. And uh, dude, like, I, why am I so excited to get a new pair of Ultra Boost? Uh, I definitely didn't need a pair. But in this video, I want to show you guys the Ultra Boost 20 Cold Ready. Show you guys the shoe and some of the things I really, really like about the shoe. Couple things I didn't like, but let's go ahead and jump in. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys haven't shopped on my website yet, check it out, Collective Kicks in the description. Basically, I just curate a bunch of sneaker deals that I find for you guys across the web, including a pair of these. I posted these when they went live and I copped a pair myself. Uh, super stoked about that. But check out my website, link in the description, pretty much of every video, as well as in my bio on Instagram if you don't follow me over there or on Twitter. Anyway, so hopefully you guys liked the intro of that video. If you did, drop a like on this video because it took me a little bit of time to gather up all of the troops uh, for that uh, that intro. I had to go down to the garage and grab uh, other pairs that I had sitting down there as well. The intro is obviously jokingly. I love the Ultra Boost and I have a wall full of them over here. Just different ones even than the ones I showed you. But um, So yeah, I don't really need another pair of Ultra Boost, but I really wanted them. And I saw that they were releasing this cold ready, winter ready um, edition of the Ultra Boost 20. And uh, the colorway was super fire. That's one of the things that I give Adidas a lot of credit on is the colorways that they drop. I really, really dig. There's a lot of really nice ones. As you can see, I have the Ultra Boost Guard of the Ultra Boost ATR, as they were calling it. So this is like a newer version of this. And I like that they made a couple of different changes on the, uh, the Ultra Boost 20 to make it that cold ready or winter ready. So a couple of the details about these sneakers. From Adidas words, it says it's a rainy day running shoe for all weather athletes. These Ultra Boosts have a knit upper that has a winter finish with added winter um, repellency. The rubber outsole is engineered for traction on the rough ground and fly through the streets in your city no matter what the season. The winter dot ready upper sheds light rain and snow to keep you going. Obviously has a big boost midsole for energy return with each step and a stretch web and continental rubber outsole designed for superior grip in wet conditions. It come with some speed laces and regular laces. So to take a look at the upper, you have that prime knit upper, but it is weather treated. So it definitely feels like it's water resistant. This also has a weatherproof cage on the outside of it. And then you can see the speed laces here, which is a nice little look to the shoe. It looks kind of cool. The laces are just the right size. You can wear them loose and it's just fine as well. Coming up around the collar, you have kind of a rubberized like wetsuit sort of material up around uh, your foot. So it doesn't look like it, but it is kind of like a sock like fit uh, because of that rubberized material right there. And it will definitely help keep the inside of your feet dry. As you work your way around to the heel of the shoe, you have that Ultra Boost heel counter that we've seen in the 19s and the 20s. 
and it does say ultra boost across the butt and then you do have a pull tab on the back of this one which is consistent uh, to the ATRs as well. This pair does have a rubberized heel cup though underneath that TPU. It's definitely noticeable and very, very waterproof back there. The liner is really nice as well. I don't know what this is made of. It feels like a soft suede or like kind of a microfiber sort of thing. I don't know, but it's really, really soft to the touch and I like that. On the inside, it does say cold ready. One thing I wish they would get straight is it says winter ready and then cold ready. It said winter ready online and it says cold ready on the inside and it says CRDY on the box. So it is what it is. But anyway, as you work your way down, you have that blackout midsole, which is 20% bigger than the traditional Ultra Boost, so you definitely feel it. Then as you look at the traction of the sole, I like that they added Continental Winter Grip to it. So you see the branding right here, and you can see the definite Winter Grip sections in gray where they kind of call out the extra little hits of traction. It's fun to be able to look at that and know that that's different than the previous ones that we've seen. So I like that they made that nice little addition. The whole bottom area is actually sealed in a fused material all the way around over the toe cap and all the way around up the side. So a uh, nice extra treatment there for waterproof feel. One thing that I will note is I went up a half a size. Uh, I got a size 10 instead of a 9.5 and I definitely would recommend that, especially if you have a little bit of a wide foot. This is not the most stretchy area right here to be able to slide your foot in. That's probably my biggest complaint about the shoe. Because of the way that they did this uh, rubberized section around the collar of the shoe, this is really tough to pull back. So it is a little bit of a snug fit to get onto your foot, but obviously with a purpose because they want to be able to keep it nice and waterproof on the inside. However, that being said, it is still really snug to get on my foot. So if I would have gone true to size, it probably would have been a problem. It also does come with rope laces. So if you wanted to switch out the lacing system, you can do that. But honestly, I really like this one. And the way that the tongue is laid on this shoe, you don't need to lace the shoes anyway, in my opinion. So that's pretty much the overview of the shoe. And I think that visually, I really, really dig the shoe. I love the addition of the heel tab on the back of the shoe. It just adds a nice look to it. For some reason, the cage doesn't even bother me on this pair, the way that it's like integrated. It just looks really clean. The three stripes on there are reflective as well as uh, some around the trim. It's a little bit more reflective on the three stripes though. It's kind of like a triple black shoe, but I like the little differences of the water repellent materials having a matte black sort of appearance to the shoe. I think that's something that I think is really cool as well as just the extra little hits of gray. All in all, I think that visually this is a really amazing looking shoe though, but drop a comment in the comment section. What do you guys think? Something you guys are feeling or not? It is a little bit heavier. It's about 11 or 12 ounces. Uh, so if you're looking for a really light shoe, then this is not probably not the best option. So comparatively, we have the summer ready right here versus the winter ready. And I like the uh, the differences. It's fun to be able to see the different seasons and some of the differences that they made on the shoe. This one is noticeably lighter than this one. Obviously, this one has a lot more traction on it than this one. Uh, this is a lighter see-through material on the summer ready versus the heavier water repellent version in the winter ready. The midsole and the heel counter are probably the two things that are identical on the shoes other than maybe the insoles, but everything else is pretty much like a ground up rebuild uh, of the shoe. And I think that that is a fun thing to see. There's no cage up to the laces on the summer ready, but you do have one on the winter ready. One thing that they could have added to this though is that quick laces. Honestly, that would be probably a better fit on the summer ready ones. Anyways, just to look at both of them, and I gotta say I really like uh, the new uh, pair. The downside, these will set you back $190. They are not cheap. They are definitely quite expensive. Uh, 180 is what we're kind of used to paying for Ultra Boost. That's what I paid for both of these pairs. So 190, I was like, oh man, they got to do me like that. But it's water resistant and it has a beefier outsole. And so for that, and it's a new one, I'm one of those people I'm okay paying the extra when a new product comes out because I really wanted to get these in hand and on feed. And I'm glad after getting them, I'm definitely glad I got them. When we go out and try to find a Christmas tree this year, or when we go to pumpkin patches and stuff, this is the shoe that I'll probably be wearing out and about in those conditions. And in Oregon, it rains a ton. So definitely an easy investment for myself. Even mailbox runs and stuff, like these are gonna be a good uh, shoe to invest in. So if you're interested in buying a pair of these, check the link in the description. Eventually they'll probably go on sale, but as of right now, 190 is that firm price. But leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, man. I'm super stoked about shoes like these when they drop. I know it's not super hyped and super limited or anything like that, but, uh, but it's cool and it's functional and stylish and I really think that they killed it on this one. So uh, nice work Adidas for uh, creating such a nice looking pair of sneakers and I'm happy I bought them. Anyway, that's it for the video. Drop a like if you guys found the video helpful, informative and wanted to see the product maybe before you bought it. And then subscribe to the channel if you haven't thus far and if you hit the notification bell, it will let you guys know when my videos uh, are posted. But thank you again for stopping by and watching. We'll see you guys hopefully for some more videos soon. Peace guys.